so here's a very small review of the Azio MKQ keyboard so I got this in blue it's a very nice minimalistic finish the keys are well lit these are OT move ground switches thankfully it does not have any weird gamer sort of font and all of these keys are very readable of course it does not matter too much to touch typists but anyway let's have a quick uh, cycle through the lighting modes what you do is press function and the home button so this fades in and out that's the first effect this other one uh, lights up individual keys give me a sec which then fade out after a second or two then with this we have the re reverse effect the keys uh, turn off and on again with this mode uh, you have the light move from whatever key you struck the final is a wave effect and the light r runs across the keyboard and of course you have the full backlit on you can turn it off by pressing function and end and there are a few modes of brightness this is the lowest brightness it still appears pretty bright though and this is the highest brightness uh, the num lock and other indicators light up to let you know when you've reached the limit now, if there's one thing I do not like is that uh, the, these indicators uh, are uh, you know hidden behind the uh, number pad so in case you're sitting and typing you uh, don't know if any of these indicators are lit there's not too much to complain about the actu actuation force is low you have a nice very tactile feedback not as much as the blue switches so here's what the keyboard sounds like the feedback uh, is actually pretty good backspace is pretty loud um, the shift key that I have is pretty squeaky well it doesn't matter so how does this compare to the Logitech G610? I think this is uh, worth buying if you don't need uh, need the extra configuration of the lights that's uh, that comes with the Logitech software. Any other complaints? No. Uh, I wish the Enter key and the Shift and the Tab and the Caps Lock key had those regular symbols that we have on these keyboards.